All right, so last up, PayPal Q4 transaction revenue rose 12%. This was a quick article, just so you know, PayPal's making a lot of money. <laughs> that's, uh, that's like the big thing. Uh, final quarter 2020, PayPal gained 16 million in, in new net active accounts, and they handled 277 billion. It, and just as a reminder, on November 12th is when they removed the wait list for Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin. So when I talk about Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin, these are the ones that I'm thinking to myself, you, sh you can't bet against those because they're on PayPal. And PayPal has, you know, millions of merchants and they have over like 345 million, I, I think, uh, people who actually use PayPal around the world. So why would you bet against that? And they have only gotten to the United States. Mind you, they haven't gotten globally yet so they haven't rolled this out and they will and i think it's going to be big anyhow uh customers who purchase crypto with the platform have been logging to paypal twice as much as they were before buying crypto the company said in its investor update and paypal's transaction revenue increased by around 12 percent uh, and then year over year i will say this so if they rolled this out in um 2020 q4 and they had 5.68 billion it'll be interesting to see how much their transaction revenue uh, actually goes up for next quarter. But uh, yeah, it's grown a little bit. Good for them. <laughs> Billion. Sure. Anyhow, to finish up, it says the volume of crypto trade on our platform greatly exceeded our projections. PayPal, PayPal CEO Dan Schulman said on the company's fourth quarter earnings call, we're excited to build in this early success by allowing customers to use their crypto balance as a funding source. We hope to launch our first international market in the next several months. So you got to understand, so uh, PayPal is going to be huge and they're going to just keep pushing this narrative. Once they roll this out to merchants, I think that's when it's really game on for them because for all those transactions, because when this first started up, there was no transaction fees when you wanted to buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin. But that changed and now there are transaction fees. So when you're going to use this, when people actually buy cryptocurrency and they go to a merchant and go hey i want to buy some shoes with litecoin sure you all day but they're not using the litecoin remember it's all just paper litecoin it's just they're buying it up and in the background they're doing the whole thing and they're transacting with with fiat so there is no slippage there is no volatility but they get to keep all that cryptocurrency and they're going to pay you're going to have to pay a transaction fee for that uh, me and the uh, me as a merchant and, me, and you as the buyer so just be aware, uh, they're going to make a ton of money doing this, and uh, that is really what drives the market. Is it uh, right? Is it fair? It's free market. Everybody's, if you want to use it, you can use it. And uh, a lot of people are going to because not everybody wants to deal. And when I had, because of Dan Teaches Crypto, I realized people are all different, which it's kind of a stupid phrase, but it is the truth. Uh, everybody's different. Everybody has their own ability to comprehend things or their ability to do things because of time constraints, right? If you're a single mom with three kids and two jobs, you do not have time to deal with, you know, figuring out a ledger, doing all the updates, making sure you don't get hacked, doing all the right steps and everything else. You're like, you know what? Screw it. Just give me Coinbase or something like that where I can put on there and they can deal with it. And if it goes up, fantastic. I got to go take Jimmy to soccer practice. So there's only so much people can do, right? So like with PayPal, I'm not going to rip on them for that. That's what it is. And actually, I had a friend of mine, uh, Jasmine. She she texted me a couple, was it? yeah, yesterday. She goes, hey, is Ethereum a good thing to invest in? Which I'm sure you guys have probably done the same way. Uh, and I just like, yeah, sure. What do you want to do? She's like, should I get it on PayPal? I'm like, sure. Because I don't want to go with like, you know, you should really go through through a, a, an Anna Ledger and you can buy it over here and it's $100. And then when it gets here in two weeks, then you can do this, this. Oh, the, but there was also a hack. So, uh, you know, watch just use pay just i'm like ugh. just use paypal go to dante's crypto at some point and then learn the rest of it and then maybe you can just take baby steps because everybody's bit everybody's different and far be it from me to say you need to do it this way because i say so it's not it's not the case anyhow that's it for today uh it's uh we'll finish up at nine in the morning got another hour until i get to listen to binance swindle all these uh, institutions not swindle but you know sell these institutions and uh, for their custodial services and that's it for today so hey if you made it all the way to the end uh maybe share the thumbs up that'd be great maybe you liked it and maybe you should subscribe uh, just a suggestion all of our things that we talk about are pretty much time sensitive so help me help you everybody's a winner right also if you like these types of videos me two more it's going to pop up on your left and right i'll let youtube do its magic 
And that is all for today. So thanks so much uh, for watching all the way end. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.